Hey, it's Uber Grace time, where the grace is always, pretty much, very ubalicious. There's a, a lovely little scripture in Colossians where, Pete, where um, Paul says that um, we were alienated in our minds from God. And this has been kind of talked about a little bit, but let's just mince it up a little bit and let's have a proper look at it. We were alienated from God, not in reality, not actually, not in his mind. We were alienated from God in our mind, in our thinking, in our understanding. There's a human race, we think that we are alienated from God, that he is over there somewhere, sitting on his cloud of judgment, waiting to trip us up. Those of us that think that, you know, he's a good God, but actually there was never any separation from him. It was all in our own mind. And this is why Jesus could go around saying, you've got to change your mind about God, you've got to repent. He used the word repent, which we've turned into this big religious um, kerfuffle uh, and malarkey, what a great word. Repentance has become a right malarkey of, of effort. It's like, oh, straining out a tough poo when you're really repenting. <laughs> and, um, but actually it's changing your mind your mindset, your understanding, your thinking, your paradigms. Change that about God, because it's really close. And this scripture in Colossians says that, that actually you were only alienated from God in your paradigms, in your mindsets, in your thinking, your understanding. Later on in Romans 12, it talks about changing the way you think and you will transform your mind will transform your life. So if you can change the way you think, your life will be transformed. Today, there's a therapy called cognitive behavioral therapy. And basically that, that's kind of fleshing that scripture out. <laughs> like 2000 years later, we invent a therapy, helping people to change the way they think. It was right back there in the scriptures in the first century, change the way you think about God. If you change the way you think about him, you change the way you think about yourself. And when you change the way you think about yourself, your life changes. Especially if you change it, you know, changes for good or bad, depending on which way you're going. But get this one in. You're not alienated from God. It's only in your mind. If there is any gap between you, just look at a tree and see what is the difference between the tree and the branches. What is the difference? There's one. There is no difference between the tree. There is no separation between the tree and the branches. I know there's little gaps in my picture there, but hey, it's just an example. There is no separation for you. You and God are one. Always have been. It's just been in your thinking that's been stinking. Now you can understand that Jesus came to take that separation away and you and God can enjoy being and having the union that you've always had. Hope this has been helpful. Please like, comment or share if it has, and I'll see you soon.